mates, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fran Bow. So, this is part two. So, if you haven't already seen part one, just click the annotation and I'll take you back to part one. You can watch that before you continue on to this or not. It's your choice. So, um, I received some feedback from my first video, and I was told that I was kind of quiet in the first video and you couldn't hear me very well so I did some adjustments to the game sound and hopefully you can hear me a little bit better um, I'm gonna be investing in a new mic eventually so you'll be able to hear my beautiful voice a lot clearer in the future but as of now let's get going with Franbo so last time we were here we pretty much did everything we just need to get this box open and let me figure out a way to open it it says hide and not I'm sure what that means but let's go back here let's check the nurse's notes so Gladys was her name uh, the patient has been sleeping almost all day or something all the time I'm not gonna even try reading all of this this is horrible um, so it looks like it matches up with this so hot it says height so eight nine four five eight nine four five remember that let's get out of here news three four five six seven eight nine two three four one two three four five so weed yes got my dope okay let's move on here. Oh yeah. This is the pills. Oh dear lord. Well then, this got a little blurry. Um. Well. That's creepy. Hello, mister. Oh, nice. I think that must Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. <laughs> Just go away, you weird creatures. Oh boy. That's cute. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You'd like to see me sad. That's not nice. Let's look out the windows. Oh, well then. Watch your step. Uh, hello, Miss Nurse. Are you all right? Hello, hello, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Can we look out this window? Well, it's all boarded up. That's useful. Uh, let's go. Oh, a needle! Nice. Let's see if we can combine that. That nice. Go off yonder. And the clown is gone. That's creepy. I don't like that. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. It was not me. Who did it? Hmm. Let's see, let's go down here. Well, no, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. 
No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Well then. Oh! Okay. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh, Mr. Fox. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Oh, tears of blood. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? Wait, was that it? Or did I miss something? Oh no, that's it. Okay. Let's move on. Poor kid. Mouth shown so shut. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things? Can you hear it? Phil is playing with his uncle and uncle's mad. Mad. Phil is crying. Oh poor Phil. Do you see? <laughs> Wait, what did it say? Do you see? He killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Oh, jeez. Let's go talk to Mr. Deer. Hello. Oh, no, your head. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Is this a... Oh, and wouldn't it be a horse? Are you having a good time? I think we already looked at that. You can see. Oh, teddy bear's gone. Okay, let's try to use this to open the door. Bum! Yes to happiness. <laughs> oh! What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Hmm. The king likes drawings. Oh, hello. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. Okay. Ugh. You're my beloved friend. Bip, bip, burm. If you want a hug, try to catch me. Burm, bip. That's him talking, I just realized. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Bip, bip. Oh, yeah, yada. Um, is this where I came from or is this a new place? Oh, no, this is a new place. Huh. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. Why do you look... Okay. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. I believe you, although the wounds are bleeding. Oh boy. Let's grab pills. Nice. I like that better. This is a ni lot nicer atmosphere. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. And your booty will be flat like your face. <laughs> booty! <laughs> snuggle, snuggle, the old lady's rhythm. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Okay. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy and many other things. Gotcha. Look at the pretty flowers. Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. The jar is empty. Hmm. I don't like clowns. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. I've seen so many, and they all look sad. This one is very happy, though. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. <clears throat> this bit is very pink. Okay. 
Let's read her chart. Adelaida Fugents, age 7, female. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawings, therapy. She is making progress. Oh, that's sad. Let's go talk. Hello. You see them. You do, right? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw. I love to draw. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon! A crayon! I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. Um, what are you drawing? What are you drawing? Something. Oh, that's specific. Um, what is it? My dreams. Go now. Okay. Bye. I want a crayon. That's mine. My crayons. Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true. But you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Hmm? Who? The nurses, they tie me up. And when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I draw... I hurt my when I can't draw. I hurt myself. Then the re then comes the red milk. Look. Oh no! It's horrible. Please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. From what I remember, I think we got some band aids. Give her the band-aids. Aww. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. <coughs> Yahoo. I think we got everything in here. Let's see. The throne is empty. The throne. <laughs> I didn't realize that anyone can see me pooping. Gross. <laughs> oh. I can. I can and I will hold it. Hmm. I didn't realize that anyone can. Okay, that's all it is. Took out the window. Aw, uh, looks like a maze. Uh, let's go down. Oh, hello. Huh, there you are. Oh. Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know, because I locked it. <laughs> um, how did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. I have no time for this. I want to find my way out. Mm. Oh. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. Uh, let's not try to sound too crazy. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. I'm not making up excuses, sir. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Um, let's be obedient. <laughs> of course, sir. Lesson learned. 
Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now. And get back to bed. Let's go. This gate is very locked. I guess I've never seen this gate unlock. Not even when I first came here because I don't remember that. Hmm. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Hmm. Sir, the key is hanging up there. Can I have it? <laughs> Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. Um, yeah, he's gross. What a bastard. You can kiss your butt. <laughs> if I call an emergency, I don't think they would help me. This table isn't interesting at all. I don't even want to be near this guard. True, he's pretty gross. This is the office key. It must be, but I can. But what can I do to reach it? Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing, I think. So you're able to think. You should think about getting the hell out of here. Uh, <laughs> I will. Let's go this way. Oh. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. Oh. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You are dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find your new thoughts. Bye. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. I should go back there and use the pills. I always forget I have those. Oh dear lord. Reach the key. Ew, a crunchy pig's head ready to be served. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. wonder what part of the body that is. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid of it. Probably. I'm afraid of it. Oh! Hello up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had a very pretty dresses too. <laughs> a bleeding clock. It's like time is broken and stopped. To bend clocks would be a bit depressing. Hmm. Oh, this clock sounds odd. It feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm, I can't understand what it says. Uh, oh, that clock's eye looks like Mr. Midnight's. Maybe it's because time is running out for him. Oh, no! Oh, my dear kitty, I have to find you. Mr. Midnight! Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. This is Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Okay, we read that. Let's go back. Creepy pig. Let's get through here. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, it's Teddy. Teddy, what are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello for me when you get there. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's creepy. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. Oh, yeah, she got completely devoured. She has no thoughts. That's sad. Okay. Well, then. So, we'll explore this room and go further into the game in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I shall be back again soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.